Now that we have seen how the configuration works in Git, it's time now to make use of Git and initialize the repository. The command to do that is git space init. So here we'll be making use of Visual Studio Code Editor to create our first repository using git init command. To do that, you can see I've opened Visual Studio Code Editor and here I have this directory which is called git code. And here I have opened the terminal where I'll be typing the git init command to initialize the repository. So this is the folder view, git code, there's nothing inside it. Now we'll go inside our terminal and type git init and press enter over here. Now you can see that it says initialized empty git repository in this directory. You can also see there's a folder created with the dot prefixing it called dot git. Now if I open up the folder again, you'll notice this git directory being created. And if I open it up, you can see all the files that are required for git to manage this project has been created inside that directory. That's by default hidden, that's why you see it a bit dimmed compared to the other folder icon, because that's a hidden directory. Now, using this command, we have initialized our repository, and in the next one, we'll see how we can make use of this.